Hello and welcome to a short video training on Babok V3 vocabulary. This is being presented by Adaptive Processes, one of IIBA EPs. Little bit about us. We are uh, a 10 year old organization and we have served more than 200 clients worldwide and uh, more than 200 workshops also con conducted through us and we have more than 100 CBAPs who have taken training with us and got certified over last one year. Coming to the services that we provide, we primarily do uh, services in the space of business analysis consulting. In training, we do CBAP, CCBA, CBA, CPRE, UML and enterprise analysis trainings. And we also have a product called RED, which is an enterprise requirements management solution. Now, the reason why we created this video is to make people aware of the changes that happened between V2 to V3. Um, there are many terms which are called slightly differently in V3. Uh, they may not mean exactly the same, but they more or less mean the same thing. The good part about this terminology change is that V3's terms are more encompassing and more powerful. Like, so for example, instead of using the word communicate, Babok V3 prefers to use the word engage. And if you see the word engage, engage is a far more powerful term than communicate. Communicate means you just say something, whether the person is really making it happen, you don't know. Whereas being engaged means there is constant communication, there is constant feedback. So it's good that we learn these new terms and get familiar with them because the new examination and the new BOC is anyway going to ask for newer terms. So what we call plan driven in BABOC V2 is now called predictive. So you must have heard the term plan driven approach, which is the waterfall approach. Now it's called predictive approach. Then comes the word change driven uh, approach, which was the old term and now it's called adaptive approach. The terms we used a structure in V2 is now called architecture. So this is one word which you have to keep it in mind because now you will no longer hear the term requirement structure, but you will hear the term requirements architecture. And sometimes it may be a little, little difficult or little non-intuitive to use that word because requirement structure has been used for quite a long time. And But now Baba calls it as requirements architecture. Similarly, what we called organization structure is now called organization architecture. Communicate is now called engage. Another big terminology change is the term requirements. Now, Babok uses most often the word business analysis information uh, in place of requirements. Uh, business analysis information would include requirements plus other business analysis related information which could be traceability matrices, BA activity plans, all that can go into now business analysis information. But when you read Babok, please make sure that maybe what it intends to say is more or less linked to requirements than other documents. Similarly, what we called enterprise analysis in B2 now is called strategy analysis. Uh, the term industry, what Babak uses, could mean a vertical. The term enterprise could mean a company or an organization. The term organization in more or less would be synonym with your term called department in your organization. And then domain would more or less pertain to function, uh, functions within an organization uh, or in an organ company. Uh, the term operational support means administrative support. And as I just now told, enterprise architecture would mean organization structure. Then similarly, when Babok uses the word business analysis approach, it could actually mean requirements analysis approach. So please remember that because um, requirement analysis is not same as business analysis because business analysis would comprise of strategy analysis plus requirement analysis. Whereas these approaches could be more pertaining to requirement analysis than strategy analysis. And then the term stated could mean actually documented. 
when it uses the word like plan, what it actually means is an activity schedule. Uh, in many organizations, plan could actually include activity schedule plus many other aspects, whereas uh, as per Babock, it's mostly an activity schedule, which is what is being discussed. Then Babock also uses a very strong word called governance, which could actually mean requirements change management. So, so the moment you hear the word be a governance, mentally do a translation saying that it could actually be meaning requirements change management. Then the term organizational process assets, which means policies, processes, standards and guidelines and templates provided by your organization. Sometimes it uses a word like plan some approach, which could actually mean define something. There is a distinction between plan and define. Plan would actually mean you are actually act planning an activity, whereas the definition could just be a decision. Okay. Then comes the word currency, which means recency. The word need could be translated as problem or opportunity. And again, I think this is just a plain small repetition. Business analysis information could actually be meaning plain old requirements. Then the term called regulator. Uh, many people think that regulators are outside your organization. No, regulator could actually mean the person who is responsible or the role who is responsible for regulatory compliance and typically called legal function in many organizations. Similarly, Babak uses the generic term process model to indicate an activity model or a process model or flowchart. So flowcharts also can indicate activity, then it becomes a process model. But flowcharts also could indicate logic which are non-activity. And then business analysis or analyst could actually be meaning requirements analysis and requirements analyst. Thank you for undergoing this small video training. Uh, many such videos are available on our website. Once you become a customer, you will have access to them. If you have any questions or suggestions, do feel free to write to us at info at adaptiveprocesses.com or visit our website for a lot of upcoming things, webinars and study materials and workshops being conducted through us. Thank you and hope to talk to you soon.